Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, we're going to talk about being scared of your wig. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. So when you get an opportunity, give this video a thumbs up and like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel and I could sure appreciate it. Thank you much. Today, I'm wearing a little wig I got from Amazon to review. And I'm wearing this little wig because it's just a cheap little old wig. It's not anything special. It's just a fun little number when I wear when I want to get a specific look. So let's talk about why you don't want to wear your wigs out in public. This is something that came up in some of my wig groups, and I keep seeing this over and over again, so I thought, well, I'll just make a video about it, and we'll talk about it here on the channel. How many of you all have your first wig at home in your box? You've had it out, you've looked at it, you've played with it, but you have yet to wear that wig out in public. Let's, let's see a show of hands here. And I want to talk about this because I keep seeing this over and over again. It takes a fair amount of courage to put a wig on your head for the very first time. It really does, and go out in public, especially to go around your family and friends for the first time, because they're gonna have opinions. They're gonna tell you whether or not they think you look good, bad, indifferent. They're going to tell you. Your family is probably not gonna be shy, and if your family is like my family, Every family has that one that feels like they're entitled to give you their opinion. Now, it may be somebody you haven't even talked to in the last 20 years, but the minute they see you with a wig, I like that. And you're like, yes, you are such an important part of my life that I, the last thing I thought when I laid down at night before I went to bed was, I wonder if Lulu's going to like this wig. Well, no. But at, ultimately, at the end of the day, you have to have a mindset to where you get past all that. And you just, you know, buckle up, put on your chin strap, put in your mouth guard, and get in the game. Now, one thing I did when I first started wearing wigs was I wore a wig on vacation to uh, uh, customize, to get myself accustomed to having the wig on my head. And the good thing about vacation I will never see those people again. So if the wig looked like death, they will never see me again and they will never know that. So that got me used to that. So one thing you can do that I really encourage people to do when they first start wearing wigs is to wear it to the grocery store, wear it to the Home Depot, wear it just piddling around town, wear it to go get gas for your car. Wear it somewhere where people don't know you. It's, it's diffi more difficult to wear your wig for the first time with your family and friends. It just is because these people know you to your core. And it's an adjustment for them to see you with different hair as well. Now, today, I chose this wig specifically so that I could do this wig talk today because this is not an expensive wig. This is not particularly a good wig. It's a fun wig, and it's a wig I like, but have I worn it out? Yeah, I have. Have I worn it around my friends and family? I did, but this is not the first wig that I wore around my friends and family. I wore one that I felt good and confident in around my friends and family first. So, yes, I had this wig, and I wore it because, ladies, if I can go out of the house in this, y'all can go out of the house in whatever. I'm just saying. So ladies, I want to encourage you today. If you've got that wig in your box and you're thinking, okay, I, I, I just, I don't have the courage to go out of the house with this. Grab a trusted friend and get her to come over and you all talk through that. Talk through you going out of the house with a wig and some steps that you can take. If you need coaching on that, I'll be more than happy to help you with it. But please, don't let that wig sit there in that box and don't let fear stop you from moving forward into your wig journey. If you look in the mirror and you like the gal that smiles back at you and you like what you see when you put on that wig, 
it really doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So what I want to do, ladies, and what I think that might be a good thing that, that we can do is let's have a wig coming out party. So I'm thinking what we might do is pick a date and everybody put their wig on on that day and leave the house. Get out of your comfort zone and we will pick a day to do that. Now, what do you all think? Let me know because I'm thinking if we all encourage one another in that and we all do it on the same day, then I can make a video and say, okay, this is how it went on wig wearing day. We're gonna go out of the house, here we go. I can film myself going out of the house in my wig and I will even wear one that I don't even feel that confident in. I'll, I won't even wear one of my ones, my go-to wigs. I'll wear something like this just to show folks that it can be done. So I just, I want you all to feel good about your wig purchases because you have spent good money on those wigs. Whether you spent $17 on your first little Amazon wig or whether you've spent, you know, $1,700 on a hand-tied custom cap wig, it doesn't matter. You've got to feel good about it. And if it's sitting in the box, you don't feel good about it. You, you don't. You're hesitant. You're scared. And, you know, your first wig purchase, ladies, I still love the first wig I purchased. I do. But I am very, that is rare. Because after that, I made, I made wig decisions that were just not good decisions for me. And I, the first wig, I still wear that wig. I still wear that wig. And the, some of the others I've sold, I've donated, I've done other things. They looked good. I thought, oh, this looks really good. I'll wear this. And I didn't wear it because I wasn't confident. But if you're one of those folks that has one wig and it's in your box and you're scared to wear it out because of what people are, might, might think, please be encouraged. This is just something that we have to face in life sometimes. And it's okay. Let me rest assured, let me assure you on, on one point from someone who, you know, didn't really ever think about wigs until the day I realized, you know, I, hey, I, I really think I want to, I want a wig. Um, people don't pay that close of attention. People you don't know, they will never know you have on a wig. Never, 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 never. They don't think about it. They don't look at you that closely. They just simply do not. So don't worry about people that you don't know. Now your family, they're gonna probably, they're gonna be a little bit more shocked because it's an adjustment to them too, for them to see you without, with, with you know, with hair after your hair has been really thin or maybe you've been bald and now they're seeing you with all this hair. It's an adjustment because most wigs are really hairy. But if we will get that courage and get that strength, then I think that that you will be happier, you'll walk with more of a spring in your step, and you won't have that fear that's that's eating you up inside. Look at it this way, ladies. People go out every single day with extensions and hair pieces on. They do. People go on national TV with it on. Most actors and actresses have on wigs. Most actors wear them too for their movie parts. Just take a look at some of these actors where you, you know, just see, uh, see a picture of them without their wig or their makeup. They look like death. They honestly do. And you're like, wow, that's a big change. If they can do it and millions of people see them, we can do it for folks, you know, at Hobby Lobby. You know, it's not, it. people are not looking at us that closely. They're not scrutinizing us. And let me tell you something, if you run across somebody that scrutinizes you that closely, that is their problem, not yours. You just have to shake the dust off your feet and go on and just say, you know what? That comment is not worth my attention. You do not define me. You don't know me. You know nothing about who I am. I am the beloved of Jesus Christ, and I am going forward with my life, and what you say is not going to stop me. And that's about pretty much the end of that. Listen, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Drop me a comment and let you know, let me know what you think about let's have a wig coming out day. So let's let's try to do that if that's something you all are interested in. I would be very interested in seeing that and we can post our pictures on our social media 
and uh, not necessarily on your personal Facebook page, but join a wig group and say, hey, I'm part of Elaine's wig coming out day today. I'm posting this here. I'm posting a picture of me in this wig. I've been afraid to wear it, but I'm coming out today. So let's see if we can't get to do that maybe one day in March and see how, see how that goes. Guys, have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Maranatha, folks.